In this video, I want to talk about improving the performance of your database by a somewhat devious means using slide controls. Now, first off, I have a customer's database that's open right here. It's an implementation of FM Starting Point. I'm in the Contacts module right here, and I have a section of interface right here that optionally may be hidden or visible to the end user depending upon a common set of circumstances. In fact, each of these objects here all may be hidden or visible based upon the same set of circumstances. Now, as a basic end user, you go to each of these items in layout mode, and you could specify the criteria for hiding these. You could say that if a certain criteria, whatever the formula is, exists, then these would be hidden. And you'd go over here and you do the same thing. In fact, if you're really clever, you'd select all these items here, and you would give them the criteria all at one time. Now here's the rub with this process, is that when FileMaker actually goes to render this section here, it's going to evaluate the hidden calculation here, the hidden calculation here, the hidden calculation here, 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 here. So it's going to run an extra 15, 18 calculations. And if you're flipping through records up here at the top of the screen, every time you press this button, you're going to see a different set of calculations being processed. And this adds a tremendous amount of overhead just to navigating records in browse mode in the database. You've added all sorts of overhead to your local client. Now, if you've got a powerful computer and you're on a local area network, maybe this is no big deal. But maybe you're viewing this on FileMaker Go on an iPad, or you're in FileMaker WebDirect on a mobile device on a 3G network, maybe like an Android tablet, and that potentially could be really slow with all the extra calculations. But let's say for the sake of argument, you really need to be able to turn that section of content on or off. Well, there's a lot simpler way of doing it. And not only that, this methodology is officially endorsed and supported by FileMaker Incorporated. So first off, what we're going to do is I'm going to move this over here like this, give us a little bit of room to maneuver. I'm going to make the layout a little bit bigger. I'm going to put my inspector over here like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section of content right here, and I'm going to move it off the screen just to give myself some room for the moment. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on screen, and I'm going to put a single slide control on screen right here. Now I'm not going to have it break across the top of the body part as you see up there. I might have to have a calculation for this body part here and maybe a different calculation for this body part here. But the point is is that I can make a single evaluation to hide or show this entire slide control or this slide panel right here. Now I'm just going to say if 1 equals 1 or 1 equals 0 then it can show or hide this panel. Then what we do is we take this content here, and we simply move this content onto this panel, and we're done. Now instead of each of these separate objects having its own hidden calculation that needs to be separately evaluated, all these separate objects here have no calculation but they inherit the visibility status of the parent slide control that they're living within. And that parent slide control has a single hidden calculation that is evaluated. So we only do a calculation once, and then that entire slide control or slide panel becomes visible once or maybe never. So let me go to layout mode here. We can play with this and test it a little bit. Let me just say something very simple. Let me say the slide panel here becomes hidden if the cell phone field equals 1. Okay? So it's visible right now, but if I click in here and put 1 right here, it becomes completely invisible. So the calculation is only evaluated once, not 15 or 20 times. This greatly helps the performance of your FileMaker client software. Not the server software, because this is all being evaluated at the client level with FileMaker Pro and Go. 
Now, if you're using FileMaker WebDirect, this would all be evaluated at the server side on the server. So with using FileMaker WebDirect, you're actually helping to lighten the load on FileMaker server. Now, of course, you're going to want to style this slide control to make it look proper. You can actually remove the dots if you like. So that gets rid of the extra dots here. You can actually remove extra slide panels. So the actual entire slide control is only made up of the single slide panel. Then you can style this to match the overall aesthetic within your layout itself. Now I'm not going to do that here because there's no need and you've already learned in other layouts how to style things. That being said, this will save a tremendous amount of calculation time and evaluation time on the part of your FileMaker software.